here's something I'm thinking is going on with you. You've been dealing with a lot of change and you're tired. You're tired. It, it's just been coming at you left and right and you're sick of it. You know, and, and here's the thing, human beings in general, right? We know this. We don't like change. I mean, we tend to try to avoid it as human beings. It's inherent. But, but here's the thing I, I, I thought about and I, I wanted to share as a sports agent. One of the things that I saw every day for almost two decades is I lived in a world where it was changing all the time. I mean, you can imagine with 300 athletes and coaches and broadcasters who are waking up every day and living their lives, doing what they do, right? Coaches are getting hired and fired. They're changing their staff, right? Baseball players are, are getting healthy. They're getting injured. They're getting called up to the big leagues. They're getting sent down to the minors. They're getting traded. They're getting released. It was all the time. It was every day. I mean, golfers right, making cuts, missing cuts, having to tweak their swing, changing equipment, balls. It was constant. But but here's the thing, and, and, and we know this at a at a macro level, right? I, I share that story. But but also at the micro level, right? Think about you know the adjustments that great teams, great coaches, great athletes consistently make during games. They come out with a game plan, and then guess what? They're they're looking at a different you know scheme from the other team or or, or the opponent, and they've got to make adjustments, right? So timeouts, half times, all those things serve as an opportunity to make tweaks. I mean, it, can you imagine Tom Brady, 22 years in the league? I mean, it, how much change do you think he made to stay in the league that that long? A ton. He had to evolve physically, mentally, you know, all those things. I mean, Roger Federer, can you imagine the amount of adjustments he had to make to the way he trained and prepared? And even, I'm sure, the way he did what he did on the court? Not to mention at the, you know, inside of competition, the, the tweaks, the changes, the adjustments, constant golfers, constant adjustments. I share that only because it's often the lens that I see things through. And, and what I saw all the time is those adjustments, those pivots that, that great athletes and coaches and teams make, they're hard. They don't feel great. They get that pit in their stomach. They get that angst. They get all those things. But what they do is they recognize that those are the moments that allow them to grow, to get better, to improve, to win. But they're curious. They're curious about the tweaks they need to make. In other words, one way to think about it is curiosity, it creates choices. It creates choices. So, so when we can lean into these moments of change and, and opportunities to evolve, to adapt, recognize that that level of curiosity that we lean into these with, these moments with, create choices. So I would challenge you, believe in your ability to evolve. Lean into the pit in your stomach and recognize that what I saw over and over again is the person that came out the other side of, of that change often was a better version of the person who walked in. Be curious. Curiosity, it creates choices. Thank <laughs> you.